Everyone has at least some sense of space and time. Like, say you're meeting friends for dinner at 7 and the restaurant is a mile away. You know where you need to be and when. But what seems straightforward to us is anything but. For example, what if we were photons? Photons travel at the speed of light, the ultimate speed limit in the universe. Now, one of Einstein's big ideas was that as an object moves faster and faster, time for it slows down. And in fact, as that thing gets closer to the speed of light, the time it experiences gets closer to zero. That means for things traveling at the speed of light, like us photons, time stands still. From our perspective, the moment we're emitted and the moment we're absorbed is the exact same moment. What's even weirder is that because no time has passed, we also haven't experienced any distance. As an object moves closer to the speed of light, lengths of the things around it get more and more smushed. Since we photons are traveling at the speed of light, the length of the outside world to us is zero. The universe will still have a height and width, but it won't have any depth. To us photons, ideas like over there, or before and after, don't really mean anything. There's only here and now. But back in the normal world, we do experience time passing, and there is a real difference between here and there, or now and later. The point is that, according to Einstein's theories of relativity, space and time are different for different observers. And there's certainly not a solid foundation for the rest of reality. Now, in quantum mechanics, space and time are equally weird, but in different ways. Quantum systems do change over time, but that time just moves along independently. It's like there's some grand timekeeper of the universe that keeps track of time for everything everywhere. And space behaves strangely too. Quantum spin, for example, isn't like spinning in the normal world. Quantum spin can change over time, but not in space. Taken all together, these two pictures of space and time are very different. One way to reconcile them is to say that space and time aren't really fundamental features of the universe. They both come from something else. The trouble is, we have no idea what that deeper fundamental thing is. But if we ever want to truly understand the universe, we'll have to confront the mystery beneath space and time. <laughs>